So in this video, I will show you step by step how to set up your TikTok ads manager. And in the second part, I will explain to you why you might need a TikTok business center. So in order to start, you will find the link to the TikTok ads manager down in the video description. And when you click on it, you will land on this page. And here you can see that TikTok is currently offering a coupon and they will give you up to 6,000 USD in ad credits if you spend 10,000 USD in the first 30 days of your campaigns. And I think this this is a perfect offer to get started and this might change from time to time but I will make sure I will always link down here in the video description the correct link to the current best offer and TikTok is distributing this offer through their partner but now let's get started and therefore we can just create our advertiser account and here you can just type in your email address then you have to choose a password and now you have to accept the terms and conditions and I don't want to subscribe to the newsletter and then I can just click continue. You can also just sign up with your TikTok account. Next, there is a quick challenge to make sure that you are human and then confirm. And now TikTok is sending you an email with a two factor code. I will just grab that really quick and paste it in. And now you can just type in your business name, for example, Weber Media, your website URL minus julianweber.com, your industry, I will choose e-commerce, clothing and shoes, and then your phone number. Of course, this is not my correct phone number. And here you can customize your account even further. You can choose your country, your currency and your time zone. And this is really important that you always get billed in the correct currency so just make sure that you select the right one here and now I just need to check the terms and conditions again and click started and once you are inside the TikTok ads manager we have to accept the anti-discrimination ad policy and here you could directly start running your first campaign you can select a brand campaign or a sales campaign or a lead campaign and start running your campaign but before we do so let's have a quick overview over the TikTok ads manager and I will show you everything you need to know in order to set up your account correctly. Up here you have the dashboard and when you click on it you will get an overview over your ads manager but since we haven't started yet there's not much to see. Then once you created your first campaign you can go under campaign and see your analytics and your KPIs and your budget but most importantly for the start you have the tools tab here and here you can set up your audience for example a lookalike audience from visitors from your stores. You can answer any comments on your ads and here you have the creative library where you can spy on different ads from your competitors and you have also some video editor tools or an ad preview tool from TikTok to help you to create better video ads. But most importantly you have the events tab here and this is where you can set up your TikTok pixel and when you are on the events manager, you can connect your data source, for example, a website, an app or a CRM system. But let's choose website. Then you can just type in your website, julianweber.com, for example, click next. And now you can choose which partner system you are using or you can do it manually. But let's assume you're using Shopify, then you can just select Shopify. Or if you use any other, for example, WordPress or Wix, then you can also choose these under the tab here. But once you click on Shopify and next then you will find an installation guide on how to install the pixel and it's actually quite easy you just go on Shopify search for the TikTok app and then just hit install and then you just have to accept 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 and then the pixel is connected to your TikTok account but you find the guide here and I will also link a video for you down in the description where I will run you through the setup but yeah this is really important for people who have a shop and they want to track conversions then you will see some data here on how many events you will get on your pixel and later on inside the campaign when you set up your campaign then you can target specific actions like add to cart or sales and this is just really important to help the algorithm to optimize for your campaigns. Yeah you find this here under tools and then events and I would highly recommend that you set up the pixel before running your first ad. And now here under account setup this is really important when we click on it then we can set up our account as it says and here you can just select the time zone but we already did that and down here you can verify your business and I would recommend you do so because then you will just increase your trust with TikTok and later on you will have less problems with ad verification and you won't have any issues with TikTok approving your ads. So just click on it and then you can just type in business or individual give it a name and here you can upload your identity business license for example your certificate 
verification number and additional documents and then TikTok knows that you are a real business and you are not a scammer and therefore you increase the trust with TikTok. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. And down here, you can also add some billing information, your VAT, your address, your primary contact and your email address. And speaking of account health, you can just check how your account health is doing by clicking on this menu item here. And mine is good. So customer feedback is okay and ad group status is also okay. So from time to time, you can just check if your account is doing okay. And really important, your brand safety hub. So when you click on it down here, you can select the inventory filter. So you don't want to run your ad on very explicit content like violent content or sexual content. So you can just limit it. And I would always recommend by going for the standard inventory. And here you just have a good content, no violent content, no sexual content. So your brand doesn't get hurt by running ads on TikTok. And most importantly, under payments, you can connect your payment method. And down here, you can just upload your credit card information, for example, your American Express, your Visa or MasterCard, or you can even have PayPal and just submit money from PayPal to TikTok. And if you don't want TikTok to just deduct money from your account, you can just add balance to it. So you can just upload $500 and then you can use your available cash on your TikTok account. And later on, if you need an invoice, you can also just click here and then download your invoices for the amount you spend on on your account. So now we have already connected our Shopify store with the pixel to our TikTok account. We set up our payment method so we can start running our campaign. But most importantly, if you want to connect your TikTok account to your TikTok ads manager, you can do this by going under user and then user setting. And now you can connect your TikTok account, just click on link TikTok account and you can send yourself a verification code to your email again. So I just grab that and paste it in, click confirm. And now TikTok will automatically find my TikTok account based on my email. And now I can just continue and connect my TikTok business account with my TikTok account. And if I hit refresh, then I can see that my TikTok account is connected. And this has the advantage that I now can run Spark ads, meaning I can directly select videos from my TikTok account and run some traffic to them via TikTok ads. So these were the most important steps. So when you land on the TikTok ad manager, make sure you make yourself familiar with the menu here. You can also have a drop down menu here with TikTok one, which will show you the best performing ads on TikTok. So you can get inspired. And they also have TikTok Symphony, which is a creative hub where you can start creating TikTok videos with AI. For example, you can translate them in different languages. You can animate pictures. You can generate your own avatar or you you can generate scripts or you can even just generate complete TikTok ads with the help of TikTok Symphony. So that's really cool. They are working heavily on this. They will create more and more features here so that you will get better creatives because that's really important for TikTok ads. And you can find this kind of hidden under the hamburger icon here, TikTok Symphony and TikTok One. And yeah, for now, this was the TikTok ads manager. We connected our pixel, our payment method, and we have the account set up here. And now you could go ahead under campaigns and then you can just click on create. And here you could go ahead and create your first, for example, conversion campaign, click on website and manual campaign, and then you can start setting up your campaign. And on the ad group level, you can set up your placement, your targeting, your budget, and then you will upload your own videos in order to run them through TikTok ads. And if you want to learn how to do that, I can highly recommend my new course here. I will also link it down in the video description. This is a free TikTok ads course. You can just sign up via email and I will show you everything you need to know step by step on running her first campaign and how to improve your campaigns and how to scale your campaigns. So this is a free offer from mine. Just feel free to click on the link down in the description. And if you want to get started with the TikTok ads manager, as said, you will find the link to the current TikTok bonus down in the video description, and then you can just sign up. And for everyone who is an agency or manages multiple TikTok accounts, I will now explain what the TikTok business center is. So this is the second part, the TikTok business center. And 
And mainly you need the TikTok Business Center when you have multiple TikTok Ads Manager accounts to manage because the TikTok Business Center acts as an umbrella. And here you can just manage multiple ads account from within one dashboard. And I have some bullet points for you. So the Ads Manager, which we have just seen, is a campaign tool for one account. So if you have one account, you're good with the Ads Manager. But the Business Manager lets you link multiple ad accounts and manage multiple ads accounts. So if you're running ads for more than one brand or if you have an agency or a whole team, then the business center is the only way to organize everything. Because in the ads manager, you only have access and one login. So I would need to share the password and my email address. This is okay if I'm a solopreneur, but once I have a team or an agency or if I'm a bigger brand, then I of course need to invite my colleagues, maybe someone from finance, and then I can have different roles, for example, an admin, an analyst. And yeah, I think you get the idea. You need the TikTok business center if you run multiple TikTok accounts or if you run one ads manager with multiple people. And in order to get started, you can just go here under the hamburger icon and then click on business center. And then you can select if you are just an advertiser for your own business or if you are an agency. So you are managing multiple brands or multiple business at once. But I will select I'm an advertiser or a brand and then you can just type in all the informations. I will go ahead and do this and we see us in the next step. And once you have signed up, you will land in the TikTok Business Center. And here you are greeted with good afternoon and you can take different actions. For example, you can add billing information, build your team. So you invite different people to your Business Center account. And here you have an account overview. Currently, it's just me as a user and one advertiser account. But let's go through the steps here really quickly. So here you have an overview of all the accounts, which is quite nice because when you click here on accounts, then you can see which accounts spends what currently. So for example, mine was Weber Media and I can see the cost here, the cost per click and the cost per mill and the impressions. And if I would now add another account, you will see this here. So you can now have a good overview of all the accounts, which is under the umbrella of the TikTok Business Center. And of course, you also have the creative library. So you can share different creatives between different TikTok ad managers. And most importantly, down here, you can invite different users. So right now it's just me but I can add a member and then you can just type in the email address from your colleague or from the brand you are working with and then you can assign different roles for example the admin a standard role or the finance manager and this would be important for the person to pull the invoices and then do the bookkeeping for example and yeah you can just go ahead and invite now your team members to your TikTok business center and of course you can connect different accounts so if you have more than one brand or if you're an agency and you want to connect different advertising accounts from your clients then you can just go ahead click add advertiser account and either you can create a new one or we can request access and this is really simple you just go back to your advertiser account the TikTok ads manager and then you can see here under the drop down you can see the ID and then you can just copy it and inside the TikTok business center then you can just enter the account ID here and then you can request the access permission and we want admin access so we can go ahead and create every ad we want and have the full control over the account. But if you're just inviting a brand, you might also want to go for operator or analyst. And this way you can add multiple accounts, advertiser accounts to your TikTok account. And of course you have different TikTok accounts and you can also just add your TikTok account here by linking it. Or if you work with an influencer, then you can request access, then they will give you a token from TikTok and then you can just put it in here and then they will give you access to their TikTok account or just to one ad of their TikTok account. And nowadays you also have TikTok shops and same goes for TikTok shops. You can just add a TikTok shop or request access to an existing TikTok shop. And let's continue. You have access and this is kind of important because here you have different pixels. And if, for example, a new brand is working with you, you also need access to their pixel and then you can just add their product catalog or really interesting to their audience. So, for example, if you're buying a shop and this becomes your own shop, then you can target their audience with another brand from your TikTok business center. And that's really nice that you can share all the information, all the data, pixels, catalogs and audience and even leads between TikTok ads 
ads account. And you can do this also with partners. So this is what you do when you want to connect two different business centers together and share some data between those. And yeah, this goes on. You have some finances, business settings, and of course the verification process. And really important, since more than one person is now working inside your business center, you have the activity log. And here you can see what kind of operator did what, the activity type to which account and the time and date. So this is really important because now you need some transparency who's changing what inside any ad account and therefore you can have the business center. This way you don't need to share your password and your user credentials with, for example, a new employee in your company. You can just invite them here under users. Then you can track what the person is doing. And this is why you might need the business center. As said, it's an umbrella for the whole thing for all the TikTok ads manager you might be using. And yeah, this was pretty much it. And if you want to get started as said, make sure that you check out the link down in the video description for any new coupon. I will make sure that it's always the best and the newest. And if you want to learn more about TikTok ads, as said, you will find my free course also down in the video description. And yeah, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and a like if you like the video and see you in the next video. Bye.